All right, so we're going to go over this uh, warm-up here on the stuff that we had uh, practiced yesterday. And hopefully it's uh, going well. So find all the zeros. And so we're going to have our graphing calculator handy. Um, we definitely are going to use it as a guide here. Um, and then we're also going to think about the rational roots theorem. And so rational roots theorem talks about the possible possible rational roots, so possible roots that are fractions, basically. And we're going to create the fractions by looking at uh, the constant. And so that's going to be my p list. And so the factors of 30 would be 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, and 5 and 6. So a lot of them. And then all of these can be positive or negative. Sneak on that positive or negative in front of all of them. And then Q is going to be the factors of the lead coefficient. And so in this case, um, Q thankfully is just 1. And so we just have plus or minus 1. And so we're going to pair up all these numbers with this number. Uh, if there were more numbers, we would have to pair them up, of course. And so um, we've got quite a few things. And so there are some techniques you can use uh, if you don't have a graphing calculator to sort of narrow it down without just doing guessing and checking. But uh, we are definitely going to make use of, of the technology here. And so I'm going to go to y equals screen, enter in x to the fourth minus 8x to the third plus 19x squared minus 2x minus 30. I'll just start with a zoom standard. Maybe have to adjust that as we go. I'm looking for x intercepts, and I don't see any. Oops, it looks like I didn't get the zoom standard that I want. Let's try that again. Zoom standard. That looks a little better. And I see now a couple x-intercepts, and I sort of use my p and q list to guide me. And it, the, the p and q list is especially helpful if some of these numbers are fractions. Um, with the, in this case, it looks like the x-intercepts are integers, so I should be in good shape. So it looks like 3 is an x-intercept on my graph. 3 is on my list. And so I'm going to check positive 3. And the way I check positive 3 is I do synthetic division. And so I... List the coefficients, 1, negative 8, 19, negative 2, negative 30. And I put the number that I'm actually testing out here, right? So I put plus 3 out here, bring down the 1, multiply 3 times 1, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. And sure enough, I get a remainder of 0. So that's nice. Uh, that means x minus 3 is a factor, and 3 is a 0. And the other part, the quotient, is going to be 1 power lower. So x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4x plus 10. Well, unfortunately, uh, x cubed is not... Uh, um, is not something I can factor in my head or cannot use the quadratic formula on, so I have to sort of approach this one now. I could make my P and Q list for this new function, graph the new function, but it's all in this, this previous work already. And so I'm going to again look at my graph, and when I look at my graph, I see it looks like an x-intercept at negative 1. Negative 1 is definitely on my list. And so now I'm going to divide this cubic by negative 1 or x plus 1 with synthetic division. And so I just make sure I don't go back to the original. I go back to that answer that I just got. And again, I'm hoping for a uh, remainder of 0. And so I bring down the 1, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. And sure enough, I get a remainder of 0. So that means x plus 1 is a factor, so x minus 3 is still a factor, x plus 1 is a factor, and my quotient this time is x squared minus 6x plus 10. Uh, now I have a couple choices. One, uh, I don't see any more x-intercepts on here. I could play around with my window. I mean, I, I'm not seeing numbers like 15 and 30 here. 
um, which were on my list of P's and Q's. Um, so I could do that, um, but since I get down to a quadratic, um, now um, if I want to, I can go to my quadratic formula on my calculator. Let's see if I can get this all to show up here. So I'm going to run the quadratic formula. A is 1, B is negative 6, and C is 10. And it gives me a non-real answer, um, which is sort of what I was expecting since I didn't see anything else on the graph. And so um, when I go to my mode here, for some reason mine is just turned off. Yours might be in real mode. We want to be in this A plus BI mode. So I'm going to run the quadratic formula program again and type in the same numbers. And now it kicks out the answers. And so the quadratic has two non-real answers. And so I now have my list of four answers, which is what I was expecting since it was a fourth degree polynomial. So three is one of them, negative one is the other, and then three plus i is one, and three minus i is the other. So I have my four solutions, right? All right, next one we're going